everyone this is Lamin Sane of LS Web Apps and in this video um, we're gonna take a look at what is Twitter bootstrap so we're not gonna be doing any coding this is just for people who are just um, inquisitive or curious about what Node.js is okay so let's start at it. so uh, well not Node.js sorry I'm Twitter bootstrap <laughs> okay so Twitter bootstrap is a front-end framework um, for HTML5 and CSS3 um, um, built on those technologies and um, um, as you can see version 4 is coming the current version is version 3 and it was um, just a framework that was created by this guy called Todd Moto um, who used to work for Twitter and um, basically what it does is it helps you make like responsive websites so for example if you wanted to um, build a website and you need to quickly um, create grids like um, floating left floating right it if you include um, the Twitter Bootstrap CSS in your website, you can just add these columns to um, your um, HTML divs and automatically you will have like a, a column that is automatically floated to the left and another one that's floated to the right. And it also has like base, um, what's it called, styling for buttons that um, you can use. So if you wanted to make your button uh, link look like a button of this type red here, all you need to do is create a button element and just apply this class btn and btn link to it and you'll get a button that looks like this so behind the scenes let's take a look at how this button is styled so if you were to create this from scratch this is all the things that you need to write so button danger class here and this button here you have to write all this css but with twitter bootstrap included inside of your project all you have to do is add um, these classes to your link element or your button okay so it just doesn't stop at buttons there are also form elements so you see these nice forms you have here it's all made possible by twitter bootstrap and twitter bootstrap also has so many teams um this goes bootstrap teams and um they're all written on bootstrap and some of them are for sale but many are free and you can come to this website and you can get these um, teams here as well that have been built by other people as you can see this one is for sale so dashboards as well um you can live preview them um they're all built on bootstrap so there's a whole nice community um around twitter bootstrap and from my experience and um i will stand by behind this line it is the most popular front-end framework there are other ones um, around but Twitter bootstrap seems to be the one that is really dominating so you'd want to um, use Twitter bootstrap if you're thinking of using a framework and um, Twitter bootstrap is nice in the sense that it helps your team to um, standardize so for example if you're building a very huge product and um, you're very short on time and you need um, something very um, to put something out there quickly you can use Twitter bootstrap because everybody in the team will know that okay we're using bootstrap classes um, to style our project so everybody um, is behind the same philosophy so you don't have to make all style guides and rules for your team and um, as you can see this is very nice here made by bootstrap and it's easily customizable as well if you understand bootstrap so there goes it um, that's what Twitter bootstrap is and if you have any questions please ask them in the comments below and um, I'll see you soon in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.